Look, I'm going to be the first to say that uh, you guys seem to really like the video I did regarding the Wii U Virtual Console uh, and some really good games to get before it closes down. Uh, so I decided to do the same thing for the 3DS. Uh, this is going to be a video of just 10 games that are really, really great Virtual Console games that currently you cannot get on the Switch, that you can get on the 3DS. Um, that, you know, are gonna go away as soon as all of this whole eShop business goes through. So, uh, we're gonna go through some of those real quick. Um, I will say that there is gonna be one game that I highly recommend that I am omitting, and that is going to be Shantae for Game Boy Color, only because that is available on the Switch now, uh, way forward and limited run. They actually have a physical copy you can get, um, but regardless, you can actually download that in the Switch's eShop, so there's no reason to really include that on the list. Um, but the other games I have on here are games that are pretty much all going to be Game Boy games. <laughs> um, there are a lot of really good Super Nintendo and stuff, but all that stuff is on the Switch. Um, like I said before, this is strictly stuff that currently you cannot play on the Switch, so you don't really have another way to get them besides having the original physical copy and like original hardware. Um, so these are some really good games to pick up. So without further ado, here's 10 really great virtual console games that you need to pick up on your 3DS. Also, before I get too far, I really, really need to make sure you know, uh, do not download Pokemon Picross, the free Picross game. Uh, that game, I mean, it's free and everything, but that is a gateway to illegal activities. That game is the easiest way currently that lets people homebrew and hack their 3DS to get all these games I'm about to talk about for free, and we don't want to do that. That's just not a good idea. Pokemon Picross is a game you should avoid at all costs. Do not download that game for your 3DS before the server is shut down and it's free. You shouldn't do it. So the first game I want to talk about is actually Metroid 2 on the Game Boy. Um, for a lot of people who don't know this, until that more recent Samus Returns game came out on the uh, on the 3DS, Metroid 2, um, you know, is, was the only way to continue the story of Metroid. Uh, it is the second Metroid game um, and is very canonical, but I mean, without this game, without the remake rather, uh, this was this was the way, this was the second part to the story. Uh, still though, the Game Boy version is great. Um, you know, I will say that the updated version on the 3DS is really super cool, but uh, you know, I still Still like this version and in fact I actually ended up downloading this version because my wife who does not play many video games this is one of the games that I guess her brother had when she was a kid and she remembered playing it I think it was like two or three bucks on sale one time so I bought it and uh, it's actually my first time playing it really enjoyed it myself so I can highly recommend this game and once again like everything on this list currently you aren't able to play it any other way except for actually owning the cartridge so this is a very uh, very good get so this one is actually a personal one for me. This is uh, Wario Land 2 on the Game Boy Color. Um, it's actually kind of funny. Uh, all of my first Game Boy games were Wario games. If you watched my uh, Wii U Virtual Console eShop video, I brought up Wario Land 4 being my first Game Boy Advance game. This was my first Game Boy Color game. Uh, and actually, ironically, Super Mario Land 3, which was Wario Land 1, was my first Game Boy game. So. Um, you know, and those are on here too, uh, not on this list, but they're actually in the eShop, so check them out as well. But this one's just really great. All the Wario games are really great. I think they're super underrated. Very fun. Very, very fun. Um, but yeah, once again, this is a very good game to get, um, uh, especially because, you know, really, this whole list is pretty much, uh, like Game Boy and stuff of that nature, uh, which lends itself well to playing it on a 3DS, which is in fact a Game Boy. But um, anyway, like I said, Warrior Land 2, definitely an awesome game to pick up. So the next one is actually going to be a two for one, and that is Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages and Seasons on the Game Boy Color. Um, so this is wild to me. I do not understand why these weren't on the Wii U and like, you know, some uh, of the other, like the Game Boy Advance Capcom Zelda game was. I can only think it's only because like, they, it, it looks like they kind of stopped at Game Boy Advance, they didn't go any lower. But for those of you who don't know, these were some of the Capcom created um, Zelda games, just like uh, Minish Cap was. Uh, but these came way first. And so if Minish Cap borrowed heavily, heavily, heavily from 
um, Wind Waker, these games borrow heavily from Ocarina of Time. So for me, like they're even more nostalgic because it has the graphics, uh, basically of um, Link's Awakening, which is one of my favorite games ever. But then with a lot of the beats from um, Ocarina of Time, you know, there's actually a, even like a trading game where you can get the big Goron sword, which is pretty cool. Um, I will say that these games are some of my absolute favorites, uh, just in general, and because of that, that kind of leads uh, me to want to bring up the fact that this list is not in any kind of order, but if there was, these would probably be number one. Like, if you were to get one thing on this list, it's probably this. But uh, hey, you know, what are you gonna do? You should definitely check these out if you've never played them. Uh, they're both good, and it's not like a Pokemon game where like there's just a couple slight differences. These are two entirely different games. Dungeons, bosses, items, I mean literally everything. Like I don't know if they share anything except for a sword and shield. Uh, but hey, once again, you need to check out Ages and Seasons. They are two wonderful games. So this next one is also kind of a grab bag choice. Um, I'm, I'm not going to separate these out, uh, but if I was to pick one personally myself, it would be yellow, and that's the Pokemon games. Um, they have like Pokemon red, blue, yellow, gold, silver, crystal. Um, I did not go beyond uh, like Gen 1 growing up. Uh, that's just where I stopped. Um, but I did start at the beginning, blue was my first one, and so, you know, I was kind of like, oh, maybe I should say blue, but honestly, yellow is just a better blue, <laughs> better blue and red, um, but these are great, I mean, they're the original Pokemon games, you know, nowadays they have remakes for all of these, and I will say that, you know, Fire Red and Leaf Green are like the super cool way to play those, and I know there's a Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which I haven't touched, because once again, you know, I kind of... They stopped at the original Gen 1, although I did play the remakes, but I mean, you cannot beat the Pokemon games, and it's so cool to be able to play these on the 3DS. Um, they look great, of course, being, you know, handheld on a handheld, but, uh, you know, if, if you're very interested in the humble beginnings of Pokemon, you gotta check these out. So, I am a sucker for the Kirby games on uh, Game Boy, and I will say that they're all really, really good. I have all of them physically myself, but I think maybe my favorite one is Kirby Dream Land 2. You can't go wrong with any of them, and they're all on here. Um, they even have some of the puzzle games, but Kirby Dream Land 2 is the one I'm going to kind of talk about. You know, if you like Kirby games, you're going to love this game. Um, it's basically just like the, you know, it's the, the, uh, the progression, right? So the original Kirby, you could suck stuff up and spit it out, but not really get powers. And as the games progressed, they got better. And this was just a really good step in the right direction. Um, like I said, there's really no rhyme or reason to my choice in picking two. I just happened to like two a whole lot. And when I saw it, I was like, you know what? Yeah, that's the one I'm going to pick for this video. But you cannot go wrong picking any of the Kirby games. Okay, this one is extremely specific, and you have to, you have to get this one, and that is Mega Man 5. Now, you need to know something about Mega Man on Game Boy. They had five of them, uh, and if you ever look on like a, like a market, you know, eBay or whatever, the first four are pretty cheap, but then for some reason, who knows why, Mega Man 5 is just over a hundred dollars. You're like, what's the deal? Well, this is the deal. Mega Man 1 through 4 on Game Boy were watered down versions of Mega Man 1 through 4 on the Nintendo. They only had four bosses. It wasn't quite the same. Uh, way weaker, way, way weaker. Mega Man 5, however, was its own game, entirely its own game, with its own set of robot masters, and they're actually based on the planets, like Mars, Saturn, Jupiter. It's it's it, it's an entirely different game, and it's wild. A lot of people don't know about it. I was really disappointed that this game was not somehow included in the Mega Man Legacy Collections, any of them, because there's literally no other way to play this rather than uh, having the cartridge. This is one, like... You know, I said that my favorite on the list was probably going to be those Zelda games, but if there's one game that's the most important to get, it is this one. There is no other way to play this game. At all. None. Yeah, I mean, besides an illegal emulator and ROM situation, um, this is it. So if you don't own this game, which if you own this game, like, that's insane because it's, like, well over $100. I, maybe even, you know, I don't even know how high it is. I haven't looked in so long. It was 100 It was $100, like, seven years ago. So I can only imagine now it's crazier. Um, this is a game that you should definitely check out if you're a Mega Man fan. Like I said, the only way to play it without buying that expensive cartridge is through the eShop. Uh, so you need to get this one any way you can. This one actually surprised me. I didn't know this was on there until I was going through the list. Um, but it's Lufia, the Game Boy Color Lufia game. Um, if you've never played Lufia on the Super Nintendo, it is a fantastic RPG. Um, they have one, they have one and two on the Super Nintendo. 
Uh, and I know they have one on the three, not the three DS, um, on the DS. Yeah, on the DS. Uh, but the Game Boy Color one is also great, and it's you know it's not like a port or anything. It's its own game. Um, but yeah, the Lufia games are great RPGs, and they translate really well to handheld. Um, this is a game that you definitely don't want to be slipping on because I don't know how much it costs on Game Boy, but I mean, who's carrying around a Game Boy Color anyway? This is a great way to play it. It's a great game. If you're into turn-based RPGs, you're gonna love it. It's one of those like kind of hidden gems. It's a hidden gem on the Game Boy. So the fact that it's on the 3DS eShop is really, really cool. So, uh, you know, like I said, if you're a big turn-based RPG fan, you should definitely look into getting Lufia for the Game Boy Color. Man, I am all about giving you guys the bargain choices. I'm gonna just gonna put all three of these together. Donkey Kong Land 1 through 3. Now, not to be confused with a game I talked about on the channel before, which is Donkey Kong Country for Game Boy Color, which is just like a horrible, horrible game. Donkey Kong Land 1 through 3 isn't trying to be a one-for-one -one recreation of Donkey Kong Countries. They're their own thing. Granted, you know, don't go in here thinking you're getting Donkey Kong Country quality. Like, this is definitely toned down for the handheld, but they are different. It's not, it's not like their best take at trying to recreate the games. It's like hey, you like these characters, we're gonna put them in this game that is similar, but the levels are different, and maybe there's less levels, but they're definitely worth checking out. If you're a big Donkey Kong Country fan, it's a no-brainer. Um, one through three, I'm gonna put all of them on there just because, like, it's hard to choose, because everyone's gonna have their own choice, right? Like, their own favorite. The first one is Donkey and Diddy, the second one is Diddy and Dixie, and the third one is Dixie and, uh, what, Baby Kong, I think his name is? So, you know, they're all very different. It's hard to pinpoint one. Um, I personally owned uh, two when I was growing up, and I loved it, um, but I know they're all pretty generally fun and definitely great choices for the list. Now, there was too many to go with here, and maybe it's because I'm just writing the high of that video I made where I <laughs> bought and played an ass ton of Game Gear games, but uh, there are a ton of Sonic Game Gear games, and they're all generally pretty good, and they're all also on this uh, eShop. So, you know, if I was to pick one out of all of them, maybe like Triple Trouble or Sonic Chaos, but other than that, they're all pretty good. Save for like Sonic Blast, that one's kind of whack, but they're all pretty cool. And they even have Tails Adventure. Um, they're all worth checking out. The Sonic Game Gear games are like hidden gems that are just, you know, you can't really play them any other way, besides the Game Gear, of course, uh, or the analog pocket with the adapter. You know, good luck if you have one of those like me, like awesome, but most people probably don't. Um, the only other, other, other way to play these games is on one of the GameCube collections. But then again, we're not doing a GameCube video, we're doing a 3DS video, and they're all on the 3DS. Definitely worth checking out. Um, you know, I can't say which one's better than the other, uh, except for, um, you know, the kind of recommendations I already gave. But other than that, they're all generally good and definitely worth your time. And I'm gonna wrap this up with the chillest game I could think of, and that is the Harvest Moon series. They actually have a couple of the Harvest Moon games. I think uh, there's three? I know there's definitely two. Um, there might be three, and they're all worth your time checking out. Harvest Moon is just a really chill series, really fun, kick back, relax. Um, you know, I cannot really say uh, enough good things about them. They're, they're just, you know, it's, it's a nice, Time Waster, you know, obviously very popular games have come from the Harvest Moon formula, you know, Stardew Valley and, and things of that nature. Uh, but, you know, this is where it started. Um, obviously, it, well, technically it started on the Super Nintendo, but I mean, this is a really great version nonetheless. Uh, you can't really go wrong with any of them. If you were only get one, maybe get, you know, whatever the latest one is, because I'm sure it has the most features. But uh, on the whole, these are really fun, relaxing games. Definitely worth uh, having in your pocket. So those are my choices for 10 games that I think you should really, uh, really, I guess, series is too, that you should really concentrate on for your 3DS, because like I said, this stuff currently is not available on the Switch, um, and there are, you know, very not easy ways to play them otherwise, so this is a very convenient thing. They're all pretty cheap, but hey, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and once again, if you guys want me to do more videos like this, um, so, so far I've done virtual console for both. Um, but there are a lot of like just downloadable games or maybe I can even talk about just some good games to get um, They're like full releases like for the Wii U or the 3DS I wouldn't mind doing either that you can also get digitally which may be easier You know what I mean? Like uh, one that comes to mind is um, you know Like Devil's Third for for the Wii U like you can buy that game digitally for really cheap while physically It's like hundreds of dollars, but if you guys are interested in something like that Let me know in the comments down below and uh, I will definitely make a fun list for you guys 
Hey, it's gonna do it for us today, guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. I love interacting with you guys, so I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Um, but as always, my friends, take it easy.